Now, behind us is the Crown uh, Factory, uh, Crown Paint Factory, and just uh, 500 men are set to be moved into this building, um, and you know, cool locals are protesting against it. So, I mean, uh, just uh, you're a parent, and uh, so uh, how, as a parent, how would it make you feel to have 500 uh, unvetted men roaming around your community? Very, very uneasy. As you can see, there was an incident already there three days ago, just five minutes up the road there outside the garage, uh, for the national chase, a 12-year-old girl. That girl turned out to be my daughter's best friend. And they haven't even gone in here yet and this is starting. It's absolute madness what the government are trying to do here. They're saying 500 in there, you'd easily fit 15,000. The place is huge, I've had a walk around it, it's huge, it's massive. It's bigger than Crow Park. Them men haven't even been put in there and I can't sleep at night. I'm worried sick, I'm worried for myself, I'm worried for my children and I'm worried for our future. We have enough of our own around here. We don't need a lot of undocumented men that we know nothing about harming our women, harming our children, loitering in the streets, in the parks. We just, we can't have it. Enough is enough. We don't want unvetted men here. We've no problems with families coming in. We do not want unvetted men coming around over. Our children will be like dogs on a leash going around. We don't want that. We want to keep our children safe. Um, I feel it's very, very threatening. I would think that it was the biggest fear imaginable for the parents that live in this area. We've already seen that we can't trust the government, so if they tell us 500, we know it's definitely more than that. It makes me feel... I'm fearful. I'm afraid of my children's future, their safety. It's not good. None of us feel good, you know? That's we're all fearful. Well, I'm a parent, I'm a grandparent, and I would fear for my children, my, my grandchildren, um, and I would feel they're very unsaved, to be honest with you, and there'd be more than 500 in there for the size of it, you know, there'd be more 5,000, to be honest with you, and it's just not safe at all. We barely have anything in this community, and, like, I don't know how they think it's going to work, it's just not going to work, I wouldn't feel safe either. 5,000 they could easily fit in there. I've seen the drones that went to Bob and they took all the pictures of it and everything. There's no way that's just for 500 people. But even if it was for 500 men, the point that it is, they've done nothing for the communities around here at all. They didn't look after them. Uh, why should they have more and more people coming in? Now, what do you think would happen to, the, to Kulak if the government succeed in, in, turning this, uh, in, in getting these 500 men into the, into the building? Kulak is going to erupt. It's already erupting. It's bursting at the same. The anger is from everywhere. The only people happy about them being put there is the NGOs in the area. We're not going to have an area because people are going to be terrified to let their children out. Because I certainly would not let my children out into an area where there's 500 or 1,000 men wandering the streets. No way. But no, not being vetted or anything like that? No. It's just going to decimate the whole community altogether. You'll see another thing will happen here on Monday, I'm sure, because the community won't have it. That's not me saying that we're organising anything like that. That's just me saying, you've seen what the community done on Monday. That wasn't us. We're peacefully protesting here, and the community came down and supported us, and that's what will happen again if they go in there. I believe that the children will not be safe. I believe the people won't be safe. I believe that they will end up overrunning the place and actually running the town. People will be afraid to go out walking. As we've seen, they're growing in numbers and there's kind of more, we have more at the moment, but for how long with the rate that they're rushing them in? I believe that there would be a massive increase in crime and a lot of attacks and a lot of our own people hurt very badly. You know, yourself and other people, you know, protesters uh, 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 are being labelled as far right uh, in, you know, in, in the mainstream media. So, I mean, just what, what, what do you have to say about, uh, about those kind of labels? We're not far right. We're concerned parents. That's all we are. Just looking out for the welfare of our children, our grandchildren. We're not far right. We're just concerned parents. And I find it funny because it's Fianna Gael, Fianna Fáil, Sinn Féin, all these parties that call us far right. Especially Sinn Féin. Kulak was a staunch Sinn Féin town for years, so how are we all far right now all of a sudden? They weren't calling us all far right when we were voting for Sinn Féin, were they? Don't let anybody accuse you of being racist or far right. I'm not political at all. I'm only here because I'm concerned for my family and my community. It's, it's not about racism, it's about doing what's right. The Irish people are dying on the streets, they're getting no resources, no services, so why would you be bringing people in, you know, and looking after them before your own? It just doesn't make sense. Well, I'm not far right, I'm a concerned parent, and I will be here until the death. I don't plan to leave and let these men come into work in our community. Yeah, well, apparently if you're a concerned parent, now you're far right. That's, that's basically it. I've been called far right, I've been called a KKK member, I've been called a bigot, I've been called a terrorist, I've been called a racist. I'm none of them. I'm concerned parent. I'm here for my daughter and I'm here for the kids of Kulak and the women of Kulak. That's all I'm here for. The thing is, I have no problem reforming people. People are just saying, oh, you're far right, you're racist. No, I have a t-shirt here, actually. I wear different ones each week. I'm a born-again Christian is what I am. 
Right, that's that's what I am. I'm not for any any kind of like I like my history of Ireland, of course, but I'm not political. I'm not into politics. All these political parties, I don't follow none of them. I'm about Jesus. That's all I'm about. And I'm about saying helping our homeless, helping our people, and for governments to come along and like say, well, your people are not worth helping, but we're going to make millions and millions off the backs of bringing other people in from other countries. So, Kevin, you're you're one of the you're one of the uh, uh, organizers of the 24-hour uh, protest that's been going on here for the last four and a half months, and uh, you just have an interesting. Uh, as you said, the, the public order unit came in. They got very heavy-handed with you a, a, a week or two ago, and uh, and you you just have an interesting story to tell about about uh, how so who some of these public order unit people might be. So can you just tell us who, who they are? The PSNI and uh, what are these? they're all you see that drew was minions like 11 o'clock Monday night. Like I was saying to off camera there last week, um, 11 o'clock came, shift changed. 90% of them are what are all you see, probably PSNI, and then probably 80 to 85% of them are from Derry. Everyone that walked past, I'm from Derry, I'm from Derry. You know what I mean? The one that lads made the smart remark to him, and he says, uh, not one PSNI, that's a difference. While we're in the full scale guard the uniform, like, you know what I mean? And there's a thing down the rounds now, I'm not sure if you've seen, I think I showed it to you over there. The police and act now, uh, section 50, under section 53, they can literally just change from being PSNI officers to guard for a duration of time, whatever duration Drew Harris needs them for. So if they're needed for 72 hours, they can just sign a form and then transfer from PSNI to become guard just for that duration of time and then back up. It has been now announced by them because we've exposed it and now they're admitting it. They are deploying PSNI down here into uniform to train the guard on how to beat us down here and stop us and take away our Article 40.6 to peacefully assemble with our arms. They are being sent down to take that right of Article 40.6 away from us. That's the only reason. The protest that was here was instigated by these men in black boiler suits, no guard logo, no epaulets. They instigated that. Nobody else. Our politicians have been doing it for the last four years, going around 10 or 12 different countries in the world and sending out messages to people around the world, inviting them here and bringing them here and giving them £175 pound per week. They're giving them free board, free meals a day. They're getting uh, free better gym memberships. They're getting free travel. They're getting. Um, they're also getting when they apply for a business in a box, it's it's fifty thousand pounds sterling, I believe, in the, in Ulster, and it's uh, eighty thousand euro in the south to start up their own businesses. Because we were wondering how all these businesses are just booming out of everywhere, and this is what we found over the last few weeks. That we found that they're getting a the business in a box. They're getting fifty thousand sterling in the north and eighty thousand euro in the south. Plus all the, the benefits that I just mentioned that are previous. I've seen um, a video on TikTok of some fella called Cannon and he's telling people to take up arms. The migrants take up arms and behead the Irish people. Murder them, take their homes from them. So if they're making threats like that to the likes of us, what else are the people going to do when they want them out? You know, give houses to the Irish first and when you look after our own, then we decide who comes in then after that and who we can home after that. I think that's the only fair way.